It's water cooler. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know how the show goes. I Chris Locks and Mana kick it with my Corolla Digital Buds like Kalen Bean. What's going on? This is not bad. Gary Smith. What's up, what's up? Matt Fondelier. Hey, brother. And Mike Dawson. Hey, Park Ranger. Hey, me and Dawson are back, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We missed you. You missed a great one. I, I know. We Best missed- show ever. It, quite possibly. Yeah, we were yeah. just saying, I, I'm, I'm not there. It's, it's, it's so funny the it's way it works that way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not really for us to say, but, yeah. but some have said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Time will really be the true judge. <laughs> well, <laughs> time it always is. is. It always is. That's, yeah. why, that's why I keep thinking that Lake Arrowhead episode could still rise. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, re- I re listen to it. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to be back. We missed you guys. We missed you too. Dawson and I broke down pretty hard. Good did, you, times. did you have some. Claw. No, I no. did actually. They you had some claw. They had claws at the at the clodge. They did. Have claws. <laughs> yeah. I saw that yeah. there were some claws in the green room basket in Anchorage. Too. Yeah, they're, they're t- yeah, yeah, exactly. So you tell me, you guys didn't see one bear claw? <laughs> no, but I came home with a moose tooth. Ooh, Ooh. you weren't supposed to say that, Dawson. I thought it was a secret too. No, it's a secret where it came from. Oh, okay. Came Never from mind. Moose. <laughs> it's not a secret, yeah. it come from but a bear? Which moose, Gary? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's where in line the question. That is that's true. That's very that's very true. Well now, you, Anchorage green, green Room Claw. That's a good claw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So you guys are talking we'll, we'll get into it in a little bit about about what you guys were talking about last show. But yeah, so long story short, Dawson and I missed last week because for we were in alaska for like five six days we're in alaska completely shut off from reality for three and a half days no signal no no con no tvs off the grid sounds kind of awesome uh, the closest we got to any media was we went we did go fishing uh on the i don't know i forget what day it was but it's a i sign brought of my vacation. i brought my yeah. ue boom uh speaker bluetooth speaker and my okay. and my uh my old ipod and we listened to uh, Miles Davis and John Coltrane while we while we fished for salmon out in the middle of Alaska. Why? Because fish dig jazz. Dawson, that was okay. Dawson's motto all weekend: fish <laughs> dig jazz. I got to do a quick tech talk here. You had to have plugged that in if it was an old iPod, right? Yeah. You guys yeah. use like a line. It's a Bluetooth yeah. speaker. We have the auxiliary line. Okay. Yeah, because I'm. Okay. Hey, I motion that to you. I'm you still had to bring right it up. <laughs> I thought you were doing the sex motion. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, <laughs> like, yeah, dude, we got laid. When we that's were why. That's why I was confused. I always do that to Matt every show. I always do the sex motion to Matt. Yeah, thought it was you know, yeah. the usual. Was fine. Yeah, Matt. Well, okay, we'll show. Go, we'll go on as normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dawson and I went fishing. We caught some sockeye. I saw you holding some uh, some really impressive fish. Oh, Dawson got the biggest fish. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah, we both caught pretty big fish. Yeah. yeah. Like the ones Yours that you was... caught were still big when other people held I them? Caught, I, caught the, I think I caught the biggest <laughs> female. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Chris. Uh-uh. What? That was a Gary talk. You didn't catch the biggest female. I did catch <laughs> the biggest female. <laughs> Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> Did you go, sure, I'll dance. <laughs> <laughs> Those fish uh, pulled, though, man. It was a struggle. Yeah. I was in there for an hour before, and we're like, we're, you know, waist deep in the water, just standing there in a river. Yeah. And just just casting out perpendicular to the to the stream, watching it flow down. We're anglers. Down. That mm-hmm. sounds cold. I saw there. pictures of you guys, and it looked you guys looked bundled up. It looked cold. It, we were bundled up. Like, we would, I would wear it my jeans and, uh, and just like regular clothes, like a, a shirt, jacket, jeans. Oh. And, and, then, and then we put on these things called waders, which is like those overalls that go sure. up to your chest, and they're rubber. And you, put your, your, you just, just step into those, and they have water shoes already at the bottom of them. And then you put those into boots. Okay. So, I mean, you but get out of, you get you out warm? of them, you're, you're dry, you're warm, you're fine. It, actually, it depends wow. on what you got underneath. It's, it's fine. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. And like the, uh, the water pressure, like when you go in, the water pressure would kind of push it all under your legs. And it actually felt kind of nice. It was yeah, like, a little hug. Yeah, a little hug. I got dragged down river. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bigger hug. About yeah. 50 yards. It's going to be a blue Catching song. one fish. Really? You just These fish were strong, it? dude. I tore up my knuckles a little bit on the reel. Yeah. Um, Holy crap. But uh, so yeah, I, I kind of fell in and got water inside of me. Mm. That had um, to have been a little chilly. Yeah, it, but yeah. you know, you just you're out there. You didn't complain. Nobody yeah. complained. Jen, once. Had a Jen hole. was a superstar. Jen had a hole in her sock. 
like a, her water sock. So, mm-hmm. so her feet were wet so, the whole yeah. time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guess how many times trooper. she talked about it? Zero. Well, at least zero. Because you heard about it. <laughs> yeah. I heard about it after the fact. Oh, okay. Yeah. She yep. didn't say one word saying. while we're standing in the water. She, she was a real champ. Fish. She wouldn't have told anybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she had, to, she had to alert the lodge <laughs> so that Jen someone else you. didn't suffer that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I like Dawson's spit speed. on it. She's, yeah. a, she's a humanitarian yeah, no, that's at good. the end of the thing. She wants to protect those exactly. that will come right. after her. And yeah. then she got she's like, I experienced this part of it, and it was not fun. I hope no one else has to. Yeah, but it was like the... Closest thing to just a true, true vacation that I've had in a long time where it's just Same here. you and nature, like Real. 360 degrees, and as far as the eye can see, and like you're in the only thing that has been touched by man, the boat. Like everything else, just it's just nature. There's no lodge. Like it, it's all just trees and river and huge skies and animals and uh, just the sound of it was incredible. Mm. It, it, it was nothing like I've ever experienced. Like I thought I've seen nature – I didn't before this trip like this. So, you know, as quiet as it was, it was it was very nature was very loud. When you're sitting out there on that dock, you hear the river, you hear the wind through the trees. There was a lot of fucking noise. Yeah. It, it was by no means quiet, but it was a different kind of loud. Yeah. Now, Chris, that sounds a lot like what I experienced when I went to Montana earlier. No, no, it was better. No, I'm oh, sure it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I'm I'm very sure. Was it jarring for you as it was for me when you came back to LAX? Oh, yeah. It's it like was. you hit LAX, and I i mean, when I hit it, it was like the there was a lot of stuff going on, so there was just people everywhere, but it is jarring. Yeah, I'm still kind of feeling that, like even just looking around and just seeing like the buildings and, mm-hmm. and the cabling and all that. Like it, it's I tried still... to wear the bear suit today to work to make you guys yeah, feel Yeah, I thought you were going to do that. More at home. I know. I thought you were going to do that. No. Is it, it's still dirty? Yeah, from yeah, last year. Yeah, I know. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, we, we had a great trip. I'm sure you'll hear about it as you know the shows progress and, and everything. I don't want to do it. If you want to hear a recap, we did on the Adam Carolla show. Pretty good. That was Adam's trip, though. I want to hear about your trip. Chris and I had so much fun, dude. Yeah. We just, there's a bunch of pictures that I took that I'll, I'll, I'll post. Well, you know, oh, you're putting I, it up right now. Smile. You know, look at that one. Wow. Wow. Oh, and that <laughs> one. Let's save it for you, Patreon. And that <laughs> one. No, we're not going to do yeah, it on let's Patreon. Save it for Patreon. I actually have a bunch if of stuff I have to get to on it. Patreon, so we can't do it on oh. Patreon. But if you would zoom in on the corner right there, that's probably a really there's good nothing. shot of a bear. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. <laughs> Where can people see this? YouTube.com. Got some great shots of bears, too. There's just one point. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll get this video up there. I think it's a small enough size, but I think it's right there, was, there right now. There was go one ahead. bear. Go ahead. Was, it is not. You cannot see the right. video. In is that the a usable video. link that sends you to a different? All place? you're seeing is just the, the legs of the table. Gary's Nikes. There's nothing there. Anyway, <laughs> bears chased each other. It was pretty bad. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Did was there ever a moment of fear, or was it just all wonder? No, it was all wonder. Wonder. Yeah, I was never. Oh, there, I probably for a second, just like right when we first heard about the bears and we were fishing, and they and the and the guides that were with us were like, "Yeah, bears come out all the time. Just be careful." And like, yeah. if a bear comes out, just you know, say, "Hey, bear, loud and and yeah. talk." And the, you could, the human voice kind of deters. <laughs> bears, we're right? standing Have in the water fishing <laughs> yeah. on the edge of some island, and uh, every now and then somebody go, "Hey, bear! Hey, bear!" And then the guide would be like, "Is there a bear?" No. We just, okay. we just say we're just, that. We're just yeah. making, just that's making bo- sure. That's like the that's what boy they who they cried wolf or whatever. Yeah. 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 No, but cautious. you don't know if a bear oh, is there. If you hear and the rustling at all. Is, the bear does not want to be surprised by you. Hmm. So he, you, need, you need to tell him you're there. Yeah. But or like, her. It happened so often to where Respect there were other parties. Yeah. 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 There were other parties at the <laughs> lodge, and we go, like, oh, how was, how, was your, how was your guys' day fishing? And they said, we've been riding for bears all day. Like, it, it really is just that natural to where you just see you would just see bears. Just uh, if you're fishing, they would pop up behind you because they could go through any trees, any shrub. No matter how dense or dense you think it is, they just go right through it. They're, mm. they're just such power. They're bears. Yeah, they're bears. Yeah, they're, it's it like they run through the river, and there's a strong current, and they run like these uh, brown bears can run up to 35 miles an hour. And when they're running, like and we saw a few of them run at each other, like they just, like the current, nothing. The river did not matter. Dude, the speed water. of bears is terrifying. Like, it's easy to say 35 miles an hour, but like, go go in your car right now at 35 miles an hour. Like, dude, I went so scary. I, we were, we had ATVs, and I was going just in an ATV. I hit 30, and I felt like I was going 80. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So I was, flew on those ATVs. Me and Sonny went out riding ATVs, and uh, and I just 
gunned it, went as fast as I freaking could. Yeah. Going through all these branches. Now they're like, anyway. Yeah. So I'd get to a point where then the road would bend off. Uh-huh. You know, we could either go right or left. And I'm like, and then I'd pull over and wait for Sonny. Oh, well, that's good of you. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> it's five minutes. Can't, can't just leave the I'll sitting, I'd smoke a whole <laughs> cigarette until <laughs> then Sonny finally got there. I'm like, all right. And I yeah. go again yeah. down to the next road as fast as I can. Yeah. So and, uh, no fear, even in those moments when you're just flying through the branches as fast as humanly possible. The one Any time it can knock you off. The one time I felt fear was when I tried to film it. And you definitely don't want to have one hand on the. You learned this. I learned that. Uh, <laughs> I thought about that way. too. Yeah, we except were doing except it. I still had my throttle hand on. Uh-huh. So I'm hitting the throttle. I'm trying to film with my phone with this hand. Left. And uh, got going really fast and saw that I could easily lose control yeah. and eat major shit. Yeah, that's scary. I, yeah. Went, I tried to keep my hat from falling off, and I took my hand off to put put it on top of my head, and I, and I kind of did that that weird jerk motion because yep. like, yeah, I lost control, and I thought that's what happened to Matt. That's how I almost died. That's how Matt almost died. <laughs> but the best part, I mean, honestly, the best, the funnest part of the whole damn trip was being able to play music. Uh I played, I played a couple of songs the first night. The, the lodge owner introduced me to the guy and said, hey, Dawson plays. Dawson should play some songs. I'm like, I'll play a couple songs. So that turned into the next night, Chris and I both had to do half-hour sets. For the next three nights, we were essentially on the bill after we ate dinner. Cool. And, That's uh, a rock star. Sounds, sounds awesome. so much fun. Yeah. yeah nice want, nice people out there? Everyone enjoy you the guys? The nicest. The yeah. nicest. Yeah, so that's the staff great. was great. Everybody, yeah, check out King Salmon Lodge. Everybody, and a lot just, of barking. And if we're lucky, <laughs> no, but there may be a chance to do some barking because there's a way. There's a way that Chris and I can. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but Chris and I can go back up there and trade some. <laughs> I trade shake some a stays. fucking mean tambourine, cool. man. Do not sleep on that. <laughs> no, actually, the lodge owner said it really, really concisely. Uh, he said. I can't bring bands up here because I can't pay for five, six people. Mm. He's like, but you and Chris, you know. Yeah. We can so cover. he like specifically excluded us. That's very yeah. cool. You know what? Yeah. Listen, we can handle the show if you guys are going to go again. Don't worry. Three of us got under control. Oh. Am I right? Am I right, Keelan? Of course. Of course you do. Just like last week. In fact, oh. best show ever. Best One show up. ever. Up One there. Oh, oh mama! Brock for the call! <laughs> <laughs> you got one more in there for me? Yeah, I do. But, you know, the other thing is he does see the value in 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 having people from the Adam Carolla show up there. Right. Just so, those two specific. Of course, of course, of course we could try to work. Of course we would try to work something out. But oh, that's kind of you. I don't know that. I that don't know butt that right that would there, work. Kalen, that would be your ticket. It was a trip of a lifetime: fishing, riding ATVs, shooting guns. I basically told Jen, like, you're you're at a bachelor party. Like, this is just a big bachelor party. But she had a blast and. I don't yeah. want to uh, put any pressure on you, but before the sh- mics heated up, we were talking about how you had your own Shea experience. I good did. food experience. I'm just saying I don't have anything prepared, but maybe later in the show we could do a Shea, Chris, and you could talk about some amazing Alaskan food. Yeah, I would we love can to absolutely hear about it. do that. We could, you, you, if, you, if you don't mind passing the, uh, the Tiki Torch of Shea Fondle, mm-hmm. then yeah. Tiki Torch. Blow Torch. I don't know. I what like no, that. Tiki Torch is great. No, because Tiki no, Torch has a, a stigma. Of, oh, days. that's right. That's dangerous. I, I don't like that. Oh, you know, oh that's why? right. My yeah, neighbor I about that. North Carolina. My neighbor yeah. just yeah. bought Virginia, a single Virginia. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can you please play it? So, he doesn't have it. No. <laughs> my, uh, my neighbor just got a Tiki Torch. Well, he got it like a few years ago, but then everyone's like, "Oh, you can't light that. You can't have that here because it has that stigma." Well, yesterday I went over to his house and he had a, he had the Tiki Torch out because they're mosquitoes. And he's like, mm. "If I light this, it could help." Is it okay? Yeah. And I'm like, I is. think you could light it. And it he is. lit it, and it was nice. So All I right. think we're coming They're back. Fine. We, I think we we're got, coming back. We got to get back. <laughs> what I will say then, I'm not passing the Tiki Torch. I want to pass you the Indiana Jones oil-covered rag oh, on fire torch. You. you know what I'm talking about? It's, yes, that's you're, very nice. It's a solid torch. Chris yeah. a rag on a stick. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's know, on Gary, fire. <laughs> I should really talk to you before I say yeah. that. I think John Rambo had a better one. Yeah, yeah that was a good we'll one, get too. To it. We'll do a, yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a Shea with, uh, with me and Dawson. Yeah, and I'd love Alaska to hear foods, it. Because we, cool. we got a lot to talk about. But um, but you guys did a great job on the show. And do you mind if we get to some comments here? We'd love to, I would man. love to hear Let's it. And we missed you. We miss uh, look, Dawson. I miss you too, and we missed uh, being on the show. By the way, 
A lot of people barking at us at Anchorage mm. at Coots. I got Dude, a lot awesome. of barks. There were lots of barks. Good. Yeah. So that's awesome. uh, <laughs> shout out to everybody. Or I don't. Or maybe that's just how people in Anchorage say hi to each other. <laughs> I don't know. Very true as well. So news nook. Uh, but yeah, we did did get a lot of barks. So thank you very much. But anyway, let's get to it. Some comments from last week's show. Now it's time for Brett. Yes, we are going to start with my comments. I listened to your show. And I, I, I do think you guys did just an excellent job. There are some things I absolutely want to chime in on. And Dawson too. He was, he was, um, he was chomping at. The I was bit. wrapped, wrapped with attention. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So let's uh, let's start this off. It, well, it's the very beginning of the show. Oh, you have clips. Kaylin Bean. What's going on, Kaylin? That was very, that was a very good. What's going on? A oh. little, a little too happy. He brought the energy. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Did you have bring the energy? Because you were happy that <laughs> yeah. we were gone, or was it because no, you thought you, you needed to wasn't... help these guys out? Sure. Sure what? <laughs> you're, not start, you're not starting to fight with us. Keelan did a great job. You did do a great job, I thought. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, you just seemed a little too happy that Dawson and I were not here. Well, you're, uh, I, can, I can't be happy. You can be you're happy. You're angry that I'm happy? That's I not very that nice too. of like, you. Maybe he's just maybe he he's taking just, umbrage with yeah. your happiness. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's doesn't just, like my happiness. He yeah. thinks That's himself, what I'm getting out of this. Look, it's the key three right yeah, now, and I have, to, I have to that key three mentality. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, I think you're really. We got no Dawson. We got no Chris. It's just us. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Maybe I was a little happy. <laughs> Yay. That is your. Gary's explaining uh, that we're not here. And Caleb's response is. Yay. <laughs> I defended you, too. You were happy we weren't there. I was just. <laughs> what is going on? Yep. Is it because I yell at you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like that. Yay. I I was like, wow. Can we hear that one more time? Sure. We got no Dawson. We got no Chris. It's just us. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> that could have been, wait a second. That, that, that that been, been, as a drop. That could have been an ironic yay. <laughs> yay. No, I can see both of his arms being in the air. Yeah, it can, be, it can yeah. go either way. Yeah. I well, want that on a device never I can know. walk around with and just play it when people say shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, yeah, after that. I mean, the, the episode is really great. I did notice this, and uh, I was pretty happy about it. This is episode 289, also known as 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus 13. Oh, I fucked it up. Uh-oh. Oh, mm. uh, no. I missed a 69. I did. I only read a three-banger. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's no good. That's Can't no good, that. Gary. People listening must have been like, this is an old episode. Not as easy as it looks, is it, Gary? I uh, know. <laughs> it's definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, mm. they're doing the oh. episode numbers. So anyway. I went right over my head. Uh, went all over both of your what heads. Kale's probably, this one? probably too busy just celebrating. I think yeah. there, I think there was confetti in front <laughs> of him. When that's what it was. I was Chris, looking at the, the confetti. Thing, the one thing I will say in my defense is I think that's the longest episode of Water Cooler we've ever done. That might be the longest sustained recording. Of oh, an episode interesting. We've ever done. Very so. true. Well, are you going to count the movie commentaries because we no. did a two-hour one? No. I'm not, I'm because not I want to have the longest episode, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not fucking Sorry. playing along. Yeah, we the longest. Too good of a time. Some say the girthiest. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, uh, you guys are talking about Venmo requests, and I, I sure. liked I like that. And Gary was wondering, like, what 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 is the etiquette for getting the Venmo request on a split bill? And yeah, it is. You, you want at least within like an eighteen hour period, just for memory, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. But I also want to know what do you guys think about when you're sitting, you know, at a at a dinner with your friends. And everyone just wants to divide evenly. Do you ever stop it? How how soon? Because that that kind of makes it easy to just split it five ways. That's then, the second choice. That the second choice. First choice is someone else just pays for it. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, I I met as a younger man. I did not like that because it was often it did matter. Yeah, it mattered, and often it wasn't fair to like an extreme degree. Where, it was a like, whole friends episode based on sure, it. and and you know that was bullshit. As I've gotten older, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not, you know, I, I most of the people that I'll go out to eat with, like, you know, we're, I'm close friends with them. Like, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Right. The only reason you'd ever say something is that if they got a lobster and and you got salad. a salad, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, hey, dude, I'm not paying for half of your fucking or, lobster. Or if that happens, or like, if if even if it sways a little bit more one way or the other, then somebody could say, like, oh, but I'll take care of the tip or something like that, and it kind of all balances yeah. out that way. I think and $10 like is a fair window either way. I'm sort Ten of, bucks in either direction. It's just fine. Yeah, I agree. And I've sort of realized as I've gotten older, like, maybe it's just the people I choose to surround myself with, but, like, if I was in that scenario where somebody ordered a lobster and I ordered a salad, I feel like my friend 
would offer to pay because obviously that is just not fair. Yeah. But, you know? Okay. Yeah, but I did I did enjoy the uh, the Venmo stuff. So. Well, you want to know something I don't enjoy? <coughs> what? Still haven't gotten the fucking Venmo request. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, update. <laughs> really? Wow, yeah. Neither. My, my wife asked me about it yesterday, and no, still nothing. And I, I'm I'm frustrated. I would be frustrated too. I'm, maybe or maybe he's just taking he's just taking it. He is not. Now I'm gonna give him, <laughs> I, I'm gonna give him a pass because he is about to have a baby, so he's probably pretty distracted. Mm. But I'm gonna be frustrated when in a week I get a seventy dollar Venmo request. Yeah. I'll probably get a forty dollar one though, because I'm still applying outrist. Yes, yeah. outrist. Oh, correct. Right. Outrist. Correct. I'm gonna be Which, a, Dawson, I'm gonna if be... you don't know, a Venmo request. What I've started to do is <laughs> if a day has gone by and you haven't Venmo requested, I'm going to knock a dollar off of that payment, how much I'm willing to pay you for it. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And it's called, Gary came up with the term, it's outrist. As so opposed interest. to interest. I like Smart. how Matt's yeah. Matt, Clever Matt. all the way around. <laughs> it's got a name. Yep. It's got I, a good idea. Now, Matt's loving the fact that we haven't gotten these requests because Outrest been yeah. has been <laughs> running in perpetuity. <laughs> in, baby. So Matt's going to get a very, very small Venmo bill. Yeah. I, it's too bad my friend doesn't know that this is happening. Yeah, yeah that's, no that's what I'm talking about, how Matt just so, proclaims, well, this is what I've been starting to do. <laughs> like, and thus it shall be. And thus it shall be. Like, mm-hmm. that's, uh, one time that happened to me, I was on, on a bachelor party at a, on a cruise, and I was sitting at the, the blackjack table, and my friends were doing whatever. We all kind of split up, and I'm just sitting there, and, um, and after a hand, an ice cream cone full of ice cream just goes straight into my cheek. Sweet. And I turn around, and it's one of my friends, and he has ice cream all over him. And I'm like, why did you do that? And he goes, oh, we're doing this now. And then I look around, and there's a like couple other guys. And I'm like, all right. And I like collect my money, and we all go get ice cream and just start shoving it into their faces. That's the best. So that, was his, that, was, that was his response. Oh, we're doing this now. That's oh, okay. what it's like to be a dude. That's it right there. Yeah, End of incredible. book. Exactly. Joya. That right there <laughs> is your son. Uh, sure. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, I like this this conversation. Maybe I'm trying to think of what is actually the best beer that you drink. There's like the concert beer, mm-hmm. the getting before getting on a flight, on a flight. Yeah, what's the best what's beer? The, yeah, the best beer. And like Dawson, I had the before getting on a flight yeah. beer. I actually met Dawson at the bar Those at good the airport. Beers. Those are great beers. Dawson was doing his AMA on I'll Twitter. Tell you, I'll yep. tell you what the best beer is, though. Please. After killing, after slaying Sawgrass so Salmon, oh. after, after, after fishing your nuts off, mm-hmm. being what? back at the lodge, that's the best beer yeah, ever. Nice. It's post, the post, post beer. Sockeye Salmon Day of Fishing out on some crazy Alaskan lake beer. That yeah. sounds like a great beer. Or like, at or the like, lodge in front of a fire. I'm a big fan of the nature beer. Yeah, yeah nature, nature, beer. nature beers nature are good. Beers are good. <laughs> what about being on the roof after working the whole time and then convincing... Um, convincing the guy that like let you do his task. Shawshank. <laughs> <laughs> that beer, Shawshank. So good. Beer is great. Yeah, that's great. Beer. Yeah, that I is great beer. beer. I took a roof as like a house. I was like, where, where are they <laughs> sitting on a house, dude? That they, they were enjoying those beers. I though. think a post beer versus the pre beer is always going to be better. Like the mm-hmm. post work beer, the post fishing beer, just like. Like whatever you're doing that may have been strenuous, and then you just kind of get to relax and drink a beer. That beer will always taste better, even if it's Bud Light. I mm. I think that beer will always taste better than the uh, anticipation beer. Really, I'll tell you, you what. You don't, and, go ahead. Even uh, the previously discussed, like on at the airport on the way to vacation. Yeah, you, you think that's okay? Totally. Okay. I, no, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad beer. That's I'm a great not saying beer. it's a bad beer. I, but I, 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 at, what's a bad day, beer? Is a question. Um, warm beer. Warm, warm beer. beer. Nice job. Good answer. Um, yeah. Super hungover <laughs> beer. Well, that's actually pretty good ah, beer, too. That's not the worst beer. Party, there's still kind of a half of your beer left beer. Accidentally picked up one with a cigarette <laughs> in it. Beer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's, there's some bad, bad beers, yeah. too. Right. Ooh, spittoon. Yeah. Yeah, everyone c- comment. Spittoon the dip, beer. The dip beer. Let us know what your bad beer beats. We, we want to know, because yeah. there, there are definitely some bad beers out there, too. <laughs> one night this weekend, I went back to the lodge and everybody had gone to bed, back to the bar. And um, and I was like, shit, everyone's gone. I can't get a beer. And then I go, taps are probably on. I just went behind the bar, grabbed myself a pint glass, poured a beer. Once again, this is kingsalmonlodge.com. Please give them your business. <laughs> and <I sat> down. <laughs> hey, you know, it's not like you do this undetected because the workers came up. Yeah. There, there were people eventually walking around. And I yeah. said... I said, hey, taps are on. And they're like, you're cool, brother. 
They were oh, cool. Everyone good. was really okay. cool there. Well, Dawson, I, that begs the question. But that was that was a great beer. At one thirty in the morning in Alaska when it's not dark. Yeah. So the stolen beer is a great. Stolen beer, beer is a great beer. Okay. <laughs> when you when you do not expect it, when you're like, oh yeah, I can get a beer. Yeah. But still, that's kind of a post beer too. Post yeah. yeah. I agree. I love the beer discussion. So great job on that. Uh, there was one dis- couple discussions I was kind of iffy on. There's one where the um, the guy had the homeless poll who would be best to. Uh, Fit in. Who would most likely fit in with the homeless people? Who looks homeless? No, that's not. That was not the poll, Kim. That's why I'm upset. The poll was like, oh, who would be best fit in in a homeless? Did you encampment? win that one? No, Dawson, you won. Uh, okay, yeah, I was like, because oh. seriously, I came in second place. Kalen, I would be, I would be totally offended second. if I didn't win that one. Kalen came in second. I came in third, and then Matt and Gary both had a vote. And I thought, okay, this, and they both, but they were treating it as if it was. Who looks the most homeless? So in fact, right. Gary, that's how I interpret it. Gary and I will Matt be were, were upset that they even got one vote. Here's them talking about it. We're far down, yeah. Uh, you and I only have one vote each, and those guys are who fucking voted for me. I don't know. <laughs> you, you silly goose, you. But it's really a matter of who would fit in the best, who would be able to survive in such a situation. That's, sure, the, survive. I, bet, I, mean, I bet the same. Really here this poll. I bet the same Fuck poll that. would would. I bet the poll would be the same with who would best survive in the middle of a forest or Matt. in the wilderness. Yes, is it Gary. just me? Or a homeless camp? Is it just me, or is Chris doing exactly what he's accusing us of? He's manipulating the question not in some weird game, way. No, that's the, what it's not, the question was not, who looks the most homeless? It was also about who can survive. <laughs> who would, no, but who would fit who in? Who can survive you, night If you fit amongst. in, you'll survive because you, yeah. you, can, you know I'd how to argue if you fit in, you look like him. You might look like him, too, <laughs> but you still fit in. <laughs> let's move on. Um, and then, let's see here. Oh, I, I didn't really like this one. Oh, the come and go. Yeah, those yeah. are all over. Those are all over the South. I think. Sure. Yeah, I think they were obviously named. Still funny. Prior, <laughs> they are still funny. I don't know how. I don't care how many there are. People have been flooding in with similar ones on the Facebook group. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I saw like Sex Express. Uh, yeah, and things. Safeway yeah. Express. Yeah, there's there's a lot of them. I mean, look, it's fine. We get it. It's 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 fine to laugh at, but they're they're still around. I I can't believe it. It's crazy. They won't change their name. Whatever. It's wild. And then uh, also, oh, oh, that I don't like that Kobe Copter game. New to that. Didn't like that. We modified it though. I liked it that yeah. if you ever see it, you get punched. Right. There was a game I used to play called Smash Burger. Or do you guys ever play this? I've driven by the restaurant. I've eaten a Smash Burger. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it wasn't called Smash Burger, but but um, it was. It was just called Smash. It was just called Smash. And this Super is Smash how, Burgers. This is how the game worked. I guess. <laughs> Anything that is a sandwich, which kind of goes back to like what is a sandwich or not, but the way that we define a sandwich within the game was uh, anything between two pieces of bread, separate bread. That that be that is a sandwich. And if you are playing the game, it's kind of like the mob. You're in for life. You cannot you cannot get out. So if you really want in, you are in, and that means you are susceptible to getting smashed. And with and by smashed, <laughs> what <good>. Kalen? <laughs> It's just funny. It's okay. Just, I actually missed the opening rules to that game because I was thinking of the game called Smash. <laughs> what game? It's kind of a game we all play in life, I would say, probably. What? Smash What's is smash? a very common euphemism for uh, having sex. I know that. Yeah. So we're all kind That's of playing Smash in a way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just think about sex while I was <laughs> hey. cool. Well, yeah. You're in it for life, man. You're in it for you life. Said. Um, so, so whatever food you have. So if you're in it, so basically... Listen up, Jen. <laughs> you have to, when you're eating any sandwich, you have to take something larger than a quarter. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's larger than a quarter and place it on top of your burger after you take a bite or your sandwich. If you don't, then that anybody who sees your sandwich put down gets to smash your food just as hard as they can. And you and did basically ruin restaurants? Your, yeah. Basically ruin your food. We we're, we we're young. I mean, we we're immature. But here's a couple other rules. Anything that you can declare anything you want a, a, a sandwich if you'd like to make it a challenge. Like, oh, man, this pizza I'm eating is a really great sandwich. And then everybody just turns, what? And so now they're just waiting for you to just forget to put something on top so they can smash your food and destroy your food. And we did it for years. We played the game for years. And you would just forget. And especially when you're having a bad day and you're just you're just in and out, just gets destroyed in Someone front of you. Well, it's it. not really like the mob then because no one's looking around to smash you. I mean, if it was like the mob, then you would still be getting your sandwich smashed right now. Yeah. Well, if it was like the mob, you'd be dead. No, I could, if, I could still get my sandwich smashed. And or in I would, prison. You could be a rat. 
I would, yeah, I would. So if my sandwich got smashed, I would understand. Yeah, it wouldn't be like shocking to me. It's one of those, I am in the mob. Still. It's one of those things where you just sort of accept it as like, God, that sucks. But yeah, I, 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 that, I, I did, did that to myself. Yeah, exactly. So that that was the game we would play, and it ruined some friendships. Ruined some. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined some sandwiches. No. Yeah, you just you just smashed each other's food, and uh, and obviously if you smash it, your hand gets all messy too. So it was all part of the game. And uh, and but the reason you want it in because you want to smash other people's food. But if you want to smash other people's food, dangerous you can, game. You Chris, can what, get smashed. what would you say your ratio to of smashing to being smashed is? It was probably one to one. Yeah, yeah, it was it was rough because yeah. it's very easy to forget to put the uh, the shield over your over your sure. sandwich. And then wow. if you don't, if you smash something that either had a shield or wasn't technically a sandwich, like the buns were connected in some way, mm-hmm. then uh, they could smash your food for free. All right, now, all you listeners, rewind this conversation <laughs> about three minutes, and then when Kalen mentioned the connotation of the word smashing and how it relates to sex, re-listen to the last several yeah. minutes. Yeah. And you know what? If one of the people wants to draw dude, it, we played, I, won't, I won't be mad. Dude, we did. We played so much <laughs> smash at peg parties. <laughs> was, I bet you did. It was wild. <laughs> all right. Oh, and then speaking of foods, let's, uh, we got to talk about this. Many, many moons ago, we got into a very heated conversation on the air because Chris insisted that blue food did not exist in nature. To which I replied, what about blueberries? To which he replied, blueberries aren't blue. And then we got into a gigantic argument again many, many years ago. Perhaps it needs to be brought back up. Sorry, Chris. It was unfair. I've been thinking about it for many days. It was yeah. unfair for me to bring it up without you being there to defend your ridiculous statements. I've actually, <laughs> what is ridiculous about that? I've actually listened to that part back since we recorded it, and it makes me laugh every time. Blueberries are not blue. There is no naturally blue food. So for our new mm. listeners, would you please explain to me what color blueberries are? <laughs> They're more purple. In more, the purple. more purple. Not purple. More purple. Okay. In fact, I, well, for, I for sure this about from Tom Colicchio. Do you know who that is, Matt? I feel like I should. Y- yeah, I you also should. feel like maybe you're mispronouncing somebody's name. <laughs> Tom Colicchio. He was he well. He was one of the head chefs on Top Chef, the show, okay. and he, he the the place Cut mm-hmm. or I forget what it's called, but um, cut. but yeah, Cut. Yeah, That's so restaurant. so he he is a, a great chef, and they did a they did a challenge where everyone had to make a, a food based off a of color, and someone got blue, and he's like, "We tricked you because there aren't any blue foods." Well, he's wrong. Yeah, you can totally be, you wrong. Can what is blue? Just because he's a chef, I, blueberries mean are wrong. blue. Yeah. Blueberries are not blue. In fact, they, I grew they them are. in my garden. They <laughs> are blue. blue. I can show you a fucking picture. What are they called? Blueberries. Okay, <laughs> Your Honor, I have no further questions. <laughs> All right, the defense Matt. rests. Matt, with that argument, are there straws and strawberries? Oh God, this is ins- got you there, Absolutely Matt. insane. Are there old people in elderberries? <laughs> <laughs> There are memories in member berries. Yeah. Are there boys in boys and berries? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's also. I got more baby grapefruit, crab apples, dragon fruit. I'll go on for days. Pineapple. I'm pineapple. Sure there's, there's also probably like some flowers out there that are naturally blue. That's food for bugs. I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> like that's a blue food. Well, um, well, actually, I so I. I was questioning Dawson, it myself too. Our blueberries. Please show that to Chris. They look pretty blue to me. That's purple. Fucking what? That's right. purple. You remember a few weeks ago we took a poll? It's blue. It's Wait, blue. hold on. Of course, this, it's I blue. just remember blueberries. We took a poll here, or someone on a Facebook group posted who amongst us is most likely to be colorblind, and it was a big day for Caleb because <laughs> he won that poll. But you know what? It's I think clear. it's obvious now, and I should have realized this many years ago when this first got brought up. Chris is the one who's colorblind in this group. Maybe. Well, I I, uh, I may be colorblind, but I'm also scientific because I went and I looked up a company that took a spectrophotometer used to detect the real colors of foods that we consider blue. Oh mm-hmm. my God, Matt! There are flat earthers, styled <laughs> yeah. blueberry people. Yeah, it's, it it was uh, with uh, Ted Allen. You know Ted Allen? He's the host of Chopped. He was also the food connoisseur and wine connoisseur. Of I know Chopped who Ted Allen. Allen is. Yeah, Ted Allen's great. Yeah. Uh oh, he's got two chefs. Ted Allen was there, and the, <laughs> and the, the device internet. bounces white light off of food and then picks up the <laughs> wavelength of the color reflected back. As it turns out, the foods that we assume to be blue could call. <laughs> <sighs> no, yeah. no, I'm not even going to give you that. Yes, you Turns are. out the food yes, that are. we assume to be blue <laughs> God, no, are far. far. Are Chris! <laughs> I'll do it myself if I have to. Claw. The claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the foods that we assume to be blue are far from true blue, and said they're more purple. And uh, and so Just here, more shut purple. up, nerd. The word more is, is what's <laughs> de- defeating all of this. Well, here, here's them talking about it. 
But we still don't know why oh no food is really true. Blue. Plants and animals just don't produce very many blue pigments. Well, what about the foods that tested many, blue-ish? Many. There's actually no blue pigment here. These foods contain a compound called anthocyanin, which is actually red, but can appear blue according to certain environmental factors like pH. See? Mm. And it's eyesight. Amazing. Yeah, eyesight also plays a large a factor. A large factor. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. No Great. true. I hope this food. episode gets pulled down now because you played that clip. <laughs> it's misinformation. I have more. All right, let's take some readings. How about we start with blueberries? Great idea. Great idea. Yeah. They're, they're, they're Wait, are these scripted actors? White yeah. slash means we took a reading. So, Randy, plot that on the graph for us, please. Wow. The blueberry actually does not go very far down into the blue area of the chart at all. What Which is kind of strange because this is the one that I thought was going to be the bluest. Go figure. Okay, so blueberries aren't blue. And right when you've taken your wife or your girlfriend on a vacation because in about six months, if Jen hears that you've spent time pulling fucking blueberry facts <laughs> off the internet to play on your podcast, she's going to fucking kill you. Yeah. Well, I just – look, if we're talking about the spreading of misinformation, I'm oh. here to tell you guys there's no true blue food. I just feel like any whack job can go on TV and be like, we've created a device here that says when you point it at foods, it'll register as a certain color. Like, any I can fucking job? do that. Any whack job, That's right. Matt? How dare you? This is, this is all science, my How friend. How do you explain Blue Blast power drink? I forgot about that. That's oh, a good yeah. Point. That's not a – well, I'm talking about natural foods. That was Okay, that was yeah. That's true. Sure. I didn't even get into Blue Popsicles or, <laughs> you know, Blue Ice Cream. The blue, blue raspberries. There's Blue Ice Blue ices. raspberries. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that made Sonic me now has like red, white, and blue uh, float. I saw a commercial for it, so yeah. there's a blue food. I saw. I saw. And it seems natural. Uh, Brian's but, wife cooked a red, white, and blue cake. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Blue cake. It's it exists. It's purple. Blue cotton candy. Blueberries are are purple. Yep. yep. And zucchini. Blueberries are purple. All right. Blueberry pancakes are blue. Are blue. That's right. Yep. There you go. All right, you guys can you can say whatever sense you want. I, blueberry I have the science muffins. to back it. Yeah, yeah. Blueberries are purple. No, you have a clip from a show. No, I'm one getting. <laughs> I am getting. Oh, nobody watches the Food Network. Well, no. everyone who was watching it was watching it on YouTube just now. So yeah, yeah that's totally fine. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that you Chris ran had it the right video there. during while it played. No, it's just audio. No, no, <laughs> it, it should have been video. The Patreon. Users will know it's always video. Yeah, this is audio. Uh, all right, anyway, let's anyway. get you guys. Well, anyway, those are my Christian comments. Great job with the Shay. I love wow. the. Oh, oh, pool foods, Dawson. Do you, have, do, you, do you have any pool foods that you like? Pool foods? Yeah, mm-hmm. to eat in the pool. They're yeah, talking about that. I don't, I don't eat yeah. in the pool. That's why. You're missing you're missing out. Out. Yeah. You, you are don't missing eat out. in the out. pool. It's messy. You know what actually be pretty good? Oh, pool foods? Thoughts. <laughs> drink in the pool. Blueberries? Don't eat blueberries. In the pool. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right, Kalen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's get into some uh, comments from the Facebook. Some actual comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Oh. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's no outro in this show. All right, here we go. Now it's time for all right, and this is all listener comments and clam nope, mail nope, found nope, on our nope, Facebook nope. page. And please, like everybody, join the Facebook page. Cool. Uh, it's facebook.com slash groups slash Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LLC. Answer a few questions. We might let you in. It's very easy. And I actually do have some client mail here. Some no, oh, you do not. Actual, don't do that. How dare you? Mail. How dare you? That is from producer Cla- Lily, and she would not like that. Do not do that. Clon mail. No. Clon no. mail. Clon no. mail. The wrath of Clon. Yeah, no. see, I don't like this. I don't like Star Trek. Trek. I don't like this either, Gary, but he yeah. is holding a physical <laughs> envelope that says Clomment <laughs> on it. Oh, it says Clomment, but it's an envelope. But it's Clon mail. No, There's no stamp not. on it, though, so it didn't actually go in the mail. It was not in the mail. Mail can't be hand-delivered? That's a good point. Mail would have to have a stamp on it. It was no. All right, fine. Mm. It's a clawment. Uh. So this is a uh, a clawment then written on paper. All right, uh, let's see it in the in the form of claw mail. All right, no, don't. <laughs> she just writes, "Dear Bobo boys, here's an undisclosed amount of money for Philips. Oh. Oh. Enjoy." Duda and love producer LL. Wow! Thank, Thank you. you. I'm holding shit. it. An, An undisclosed, undisclosed one hundred dollar bill. Yep. Oh, now you're getting it in your hair. Oh. Now that now, last bit does it lose matter. value? No. Okay. No. It's a dollar a day every time. <laughs> it's out your way. Damn out dress. Thank you, you Laura Lee. Jeez, Thanks, that's so that's so nice. Yeah. And now, now, Gary, what do we do? I think we go to Philippe's. Philippe's. Yeah, dude, yeah. let's get some fucking dip. Send dip. the kid. Oh. Got any dip? Got any dip? <laughs> yeah, I love Philippe's. Thank you again, Laura. That's that's way too kind of you. Um, all right, let's get into the uh, comments on the Facebook page. Let's do it. 
So Eric Lepore, he had this question. It's a current debate he had amongst friends, and he wants to know where we stand. And it's, a, would you rather fight a chicken to the death every time you got into a car? <laughs> or <laughs> fight a chimpanzee to the, de- to the death once a year, but you get a sword? Does the chimpanzee get a sword, too? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that does not uh, yet to be. I don't think so. But no, Eric I says, I'd pick the it. chimpanzee. You have a year to train. The chicken is also smaller. But if you got a sword, what and do you fucking got to train for? It will eventually mentally wear you down. That was my thing, too. It's like once a year, I just get this just sword, get sword and I have to kill a chimpanzee. A chip. Uh, yeah, so I think I think you guys yeah, are underestimating a yeah. chimpanzee. Yeah, that's I, like the, I think, I think like, but the you closest miss. thing to a human chimpanzee. Like, but you gotta, a chimpanzee what? doesn't know how to use a sword. Doesn't know what a sword is coming at him. You just take a slice out of. Yeah, but, right, you but you're miss. killing a chimpanzee, like a chicken. Okay, they don't have a lot of cognitive abilities. Plus, dinner, a chicken baby. is a, a, a very now. What if you really can you eat the chicken? Why of not? Of course. You have to fight a chicken to the death. No, but you get well, to it's not really chicken. fighting. So you just got to get a hold of him and break his neck. I would pick the chicken. I, you have to pick the yeah, chicken. Yeah, I couldn't kill a chicken. Because the chicken, you never die. Especially with a sword. You never die in the chicken scenario, but you could easily die in the but chimpanzee think about, scenario. This is every time you get into a car. This, this is every time. This yeah. is like that's a, a lot, lot of, car of fucking chickens. Think about, it's it's going to wear you down. It's, it's going to be an inconvenience. <laughs> No doubt. <laughs> yeah, I, but I'm gonna live. <laughs> you have a whole year to train, though. Yeah, but then that's all your life is about is training for your chimpanzee. So you become a ninja. Kind of you become you a ninja a by default, bro. What kind of life is that? I'm not doing it. Uh, Give me the chicken. You kill the chicken. I go chicken. Uh, <laughs> I'd your have car to gets so too. messy. I, I, I think. I think it'd be. It'd take a very emotional toll killing yeah. a chimpanzee. Think of all the money you save on know food, too. On. All the chickens. Yeah, a chicken's a chicken. You're going to eat them later. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you're taking your kid to school in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, it's not always going to just be you getting into the car. One guy one guy in the comments was like, it has to be a chimp because I'm a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you later in life, you're, you're, helping your, you're helping your old man out, you know? You're helping him get, get to yeah. the, uh, the grocery store when you can't get into the Publix without fighting a fucking gorilla on the way back. Uh, yeah. Every, someone needs a ride, you have to Publix. tell them. You don't pick Where me. are you from? <laughs> yeah. I was just referencing someone on the East Coast. Yeah. Don't pick me to give, to give you a ride or anything. Yeah. Because it, it's a hassle. We're gonna, probably going to be late. Yeah. Chimpanzee is the answer. Live your mm-hmm. life. I, and and just I will. Just live your life. I'll be able to get, <laughs> hey. get in my I mean, car as much as I want. I would beat the system. I would say awesome. I will <laughs> kill the chicken. <clears throat> I'll take With the chicken, sword. but then I'll buy a motorcycle. Okay. Oh. That's actually... Interesting. Idea. Yeah, how does get that a, work? Get a motorcycle. Well, get it's, a motorcycle. Yeah. The thing is car, so. Yeah, dude. That is a pretty good I may get into a car once a week if I got like a Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there you but Doss, but what about what about the night where you've had a little too much to drink and you call the Uber? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're gonna really you wanna deal with you have that to kill poor a chicken Uber driver. Drunk. You wanna deal yeah. with that? There's probably a fee in the Uber. Nah, I'd do it. I I, I, you I, do I I'd it. take it. I'd still t- yeah, I'd take it over chimp. For All sure. right. So do you think that the chicken would just like spontaneously appear in the Uber and the driver yeah. would just be super confused? <laughs> Dawson opens the door. He's like, I got to do oh, this thing. Just give me a chicken. It's, it's just happens. too inconvenient. Yeah. Just yeah. bat it back this way. Don't worry. He ain't going to live long. I'm just going to say, too, you guys are eliminating the fact that a chicken could kill you. But I've heard some <laughs> stories, dude. Find a chicken with a knife. Yeah. You know, we've read stories like that on the news. Mm. Yeah, every once in a while, you're gonna have chicken a chicken with nunchucks. Yeah, <laughs> you're done. If the chicken was armed, it's a whole different situation. <laughs> <All right. Wow. laughs> I'll grant you that. Matt. Maybe you drop your keys for a second. Next thing you know, chicken's got keys pointed at you. Mm-hmm. Then what, Gary? Well, Chris was held at sheer point. <laughs> yeah, he it's held like at key point. Like Dawson's like, oh yeah, killing a chimp that would do something mentally to you. If you killed a chicken every time you got into a car, <laughs> that would do something mentally to you too. Yeah. My mom killed a toll. chicken every day growing up since she was like six years old. Yeah, no, got look, into a I'm car, not. There are people who did, but yeah, but she had to kill a chicken every day for dinner. Yeah, it's wild. You can you can consume all the chickens that you kill if you did yeah. that, Dawson. I'm feeling more and more vindicated the more we talk. Yeah. <laughs> all right, fine. I'm moving on then. I don't want you to feel that. Um, <laughs> Rob Dodson Jr. He just wrote "Sorry, Kalen," and then there was a a gif slash meme. It was a meme. Uh, Michael. It said Michael Bean. Oh, the only man ever killed by a Terminator, an alien, Doc Holliday, and a Mandalorian. Doc Holliday. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, big shoes to fill. But he didn't get killed by an alien. <clears throat> right? Uh-oh. So, uh, uh, so respond to this whoever meme. Whoever made that meme. But I guess that meme is just incorrect. As a kid, <clears throat> going to your dad's premieres, did it bother you, like, seeing your dad get killed on screen? Was that weird? Uh, it. You know, the only time it really... <clears throat> my mom wouldn't let me watch The Rock growing up because she thought that one would upset me too much. Yeah, and it did a little bit, but he goes out in, like, such an epic fashion. Such an I, epic scene. That I Dude. just kind of don't, you know, I, it didn't hurt that bad. It was such, just such an epic scene. The Stand one, down! The one that hurt was Tombstone. I cannot give that order! <laughs> that, that Doc Holliday shooting him, that one got me as a kid. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, I was really upset after that one. Oh. Yeah, that must be weird as a kid, just, like, kind of confusing. Yeah, but then you get older and... And you it's understand. pretty fucking sweet, like, <laughs> <laughs> being yeah. a tombstone and getting killed by Doc Holliday. I didn't realize this, but, like, so, among, among the internet, the real meme for, like, guys that get killed and everything they're in is Sean Bean. Another Bean, spelled differently. Sure. Yeah, Sean, yeah. So Sean Bean and Michael Bean, to, if you're acting and your last name is Bean. Be careful. Be careful. Probably going to die. Yeah, dude, Mr. Bean as well. Oh, yeah, Several Mr. Those Bean. Had really dark endings. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. I always turn it off early. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people get tired of them. Like this is funny, but never watch the post credit stuff. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean movies. <laughs> Tony Magbanua, he says, uh, since it was brought up a few weeks ago, I made my wife watch Surf Ninjas last who? night. Yeah, who did he make watch? Tony Magbanua. So he made. says he made oh my wife. Thank you. Thank you. I did that pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Watch yeah, it came my, a little late. I made it. my so wife like watch Surf Ninjas last night. Wow, Kwan classic Su, dude, Kwan Su. Doss, you've seen Surf Ninjas, right? Yeah, three times, dude. Yeah, right after he finished Can't listening to our podcast. So good. Yeah. So good. Two brothers. Yeah, that's They what all of a sudden have ninja powers. They're doing ninja stuff. And on one of their brothers is playing a Game Gear. And what happens in the Game Gear happens in real life. It's based on true Yeah, story. no, uh, you're telling me, man. It's a documentary. Yeah. I, documentary. I, I, I almost wrote that movie. Well, uh, Tony says, I totally forgot Rob Schneider was in it. <laughs> How He's about doing. now, Dawson? Yeah, he played, uh, <laughs> <laughs> played Bob Nider. Yeah. And, uh, nice guy. So Tony says, it made me think, what is PRS? Mm-hmm. Peak Rob Schneider. Hmm. Uh, it's got to be in um, The Waterboy. You can do good. it? Yeah. I was going to say the making copies guy on SNL. Oh, yeah. That one's yeah, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree on that. That, they redid ever. that on David Spade's like newer comedy show. They were like, oh, that really? Back. Yeah. Nice. So that was that was really great. What about you, Ken? What's your peak Rob Schneider? My peak Rob Schneider? Probably Big Daddy. Yeah. Hip Hop Anonymous? Hip Hop Anonymous. He's pretty yeah. great yeah. that as well. That's true. That's true. I, yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. I might have to change. Mine's Big Daddy. Yeah, Big Daddy. That's a good, that's a good answer. And, sorry, Josh. What was yours? Same as oh, Matt's. Same as Matt's. That's right. Well, anyway, oh, and uh, and Surf Ninjas <laughs> got out of that one easy. <laughs> Sur- <laughs> Rob Schneider and Surf Ninjas taught me about chives. Speaking of, oh, you know, interesting. Lake, because he was he was chopping up chives. Like, you don't want chives? Steakhouse hasn't taught you about chives. You want chives? You haven't lived. I didn't go to a steakhouse when I was that young. Oh, well, oh okay. Get I was it. a kid. I, get it. I, get I learned it. about I get chives. It. Yeah. Uh, well, you got to learn something from the movies. At least you learned about vegetation. Yeah. Edible vegetation. It's, it's going to be a future Slumdog Millionaire moment. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Donald Powell, he says, I'm afraid to post this, but here goes. And then he posted a, a tweet thread of two people shocked with each other over scooping jelly for peanut butter and jelly with a knife or a spoon. So mm-hmm. one guy was like, oh, I use a knife. How do you use a spoon? And the other person's like, I only use spoons. So where do you guys stand when you're spreading jelly on your PB&Js? Knife. Knife. knife, 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 knife. If I ate them, I would go with a knife. I choose. What if knife. someone else was eating it? <laughs> then you know I may go spoon. I don't uh, know. Okay. Just for fun. Just but does it like. shock you with the spoon? Does it shock? I feel you? like the jelly might be easier with the spoon, but the, not with the peanut here's butter. The, here's the thing, Chris. I this did not shock me, but I'd never heard of it before, and I tried it after I saw it. Oh, it's fine. It worked just fine. Yeah, you can spread with a spoon. Sure can. But if you're an adult, you use a knife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what about the guys like the pizza makers who put the sauce on and then they just they do that circular motion with the the, the yeah. curvy part of the spoon? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. kind of cool. There must yeah. be a reason for that. That's yeah. A good point. One scoop of sauce is what you need on the pizza. Mm-hmm. You dump it in the middle and spread it out. Yeah. And so what works, works, Chris is arguing that you could your use measurement a spoon for the same thing. You do a spoon. It's more of a ladle. Yeah, but it's spoon. it's a ladle, and yeah. and and the reason they use the ladle is there's an exact 
precise amount of sauce they get, and it's a ladleful. No, I'm saying to spread it though. Why aren't they getting yeah. a knife to spread that shit? Why are they using? Why the use spoon? two things? If you have a like, why use two things? What if there's a precise? I want to know if there are people who use a knife for the peanut butter and then a spoon for the jelly because that's just insane. Sure. Well, if you're using two things, now I understand if you go spoon all the way, right? Knife all the way. Make your choice. Yeah. And stick with it. What, do you, what about cross contamination? I mean, it's cross contaminated when with you put it, it together. But well, you no, can't with take in, the peanut butter right. into the jelly. You Once wipe you s- the peanut butter off on the bread, yeah, everyone knows and that you term. have the clean knife. Yeah, and I, I'm going to further. Bread contamination. I'm going to further. <laughs> <laughs> I want to further Dawson's point because I'm with him. You got to use one instrument all the way through. And sure, you could use a spoon for the spreading of both the peanut butter and the jelly, although it would be crazy. But what happens when you need to cut that sandwich in half? Can't You're going to cut, cut it with a spoon? spoon? I don't think so. Yep. Oh. The knife will really get you yeah. all the way home. Yeah. And if it's a terrible sandwich, you can cut your own throat. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I agree with uh, two-thirds of Matt's strategy there. I like it. Yeah, because I don't like cutting my sandwiches in half. All right. Let's see here. Andrew Col- I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, let's Andrew Coleman. Uh, he's, he says uh, he's talking about the hotel show we did on ACS Toss. He says I'm so disappointed to hear Locks and Mana's reference of Van Halen's Green M and M's legend mm. as an example of Arsene Tellman. It was on Cruel Tone's show that David Lee Ross shared the story behind that rider clause. It was all about safety and stage production readiness. Shame on you. Blah blah blah. Better yet, I don't uh, uh, play the Cliff and Classics. It's a great rock and roll story. Probably the most misunderstood rider clause in history. Woof woof. Andrew. Um, we were doing a show from a hotel room. Yeah, we were, knew, yeah. we were jet lagged. Yeah. I was saying a joke. I missed. I think it was brown M Ms too. All they, anyway. Yeah, all I, they and did. My, I got yeah. My feelers are going off, and I'm like, fuck, I shut up. Yeah, all we we were <laughs> tired. On. We we had a flight to catch. We did a podcast, and Adam was just really hung yeah. up on masks the entire time. Oh. And I wanted to just throw a joke in there to kind of break any sort of tension, and I missed. Whatever, it happens. Yeah. You don't have to be that disappointed. In so me, suck Andrew. a dick, be, pal. No, 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 wow. no. <laughs> but, no, no. Uh, uh, please do subscribe at <laughs> But yeah, we it, do look, love you and value you. <laughs> I threw something out there to see if I, you know, to see if something would bite. Sometimes you fish, and oh, by the way, all my references are fishing references for oh, the, next, right. Right, cool. for the next few years. That's yeah. gonna be fun. Sometimes you throw the bait in. You're not gonna pull anything up. It happens. You just throw back warm in up later. that chipino and it just <laughs> stinks up the whole office. What are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, how long is it until we have salmon chipino? Cooking up in that microwave. You came is a, back with a big old yeah. fucking Actually, cooler of fish. Actually, we haven't really got anything. Did yeah. you get anything yet? Yeah, I got some salmon. You got to get from Adam. I haven't gotten any. I, I caught <laughs> I Adam. caught the largest salmon and the most <laughs> salmon, and I have zero salmon. Wow. You have to. You got to talk to the boss yeah. man. Talk to the boss man. I, I thought it was just. I thought it was because Adam declared. That we're all just going to split this evenly, you know. Everybody's everybody put the fit, and I said no problem. You know what? But oh, where that, is my fair share that, of has, salmon? Has it's, that ever happened where we got a large share of something because uh, because of us, and we all decided, oh, let's all share it? And then he came back to work and said, "Where's my beer mid?" And then decided, oh, I, <laughs> right. I, I thought this was all mine. All right, I'll I was going to say, ask Adam, Dawson, I want my I want my salmon. Dawson, you're treading on dangerous territory. You're treading into leftovers territory where Adam paid for the meal and he's entitled to the leftovers. Mm. Those are leftovers. I worked for those, but you would have never gone on that trip. I understand if it wasn't yeah. for Adam. You paid for that salmon. hotel. You were you a, you a hired gun to try Adam to feed didn't Adam. Pay for that hotel no, either. <laughs> well, we got the hotel for free, and yes, no. I paid for my flight. No, we, got we the hotel for free. We, 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 we didn't. We didn't do it all for free. Please, everybody, go to King Salmon Lodge <laughs> and uh, and support them. They're killer. Just follow. Look at them on Instagram. They're they awesome. Are, they're clearly just waiting for all five of us to come up there. <laughs> Stephen Schumacher. Oh, he was at uh, the Northside Hospital Labor and Delivery, and he said, "Good morning from Atlanta. Say hello to the newest Bobo girl." Respect on newborns. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, Stephen Schumacher, you did it. And then again. he, oh, good. I said, he "Did it again." Oh, you did it again. Yes, very flickable. Um, and I wrote that's a beautiful looking chimichanga. For Tom. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> best uh, and then he put up a poll. He wanted another best pool soup uh, sure. based off of Matt Shea Fondelet. Pool soup? This is <laughs> insanity. You really got to listen to the show when you're not on it, dude. You know what, Dawson? We did you the courtesy of doing it without you Thank here. You. Now Thank you just you. have to suffer through one question That's about fine. it. <laughs> best pool soup? Pool soup is fucking taking the world by storm. It really is, right? man. Yeah. Come on. Even. My mouth's watering, but I'd really this poll was. You know what, Dawson? I'm an ideas man, and <laughs> these are not good ideas. <laughs> We'll let time be the judge once uh, again. <laughs> oh. 
The, and uh, the the group voted on Facebook. Sangria won, number one by yeah, a landslide. I, vote, I voted for that too. That's, 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 that's a good soup. That's a good pool but soup. Pool soup. If I eat it with a spoon, can, is it yeah, not can soup? you eat it with a spoon? <laughs> the answer is yes. Chicken. It's got chunks of fruit in it. It's absolutely soup. That's insane to think it's not pool soup. This is where Sounds this is like where soup I, to me. This yeah. is where I was bothered. Chicken pool noodle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Clam chowder. You guys know what pool noodles are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Just making sure. That's clam great. chowder next in third place. But love me some clam. Gazpacho. Yep. And then lastly, chicken noodle. So chicken pool noodle beat chicken noodle. <laughs> and rightfully so. <laughs> yeah. It absolutely should. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, I'm yeah. shocked there's no chipino. Probably uh, the worst that's pool of soup about, is, is, is menudo. Mm, yeah, that's a rough one. Well, I'd do it. Uh, I'd do it. That shows you how much people hate the idea of warming up Chipino in a workplace that no one will even joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Chipino's so good. I'd warm it up again. I'm not afraid. Uh, well, anyway, that does it for our comments. Thanks, everybody, for writing. <laughs> thanks for listening. Yeah, yes, thanks for, thank you. Thanks for seeing or hearing right away that Chris and Dawson were not going to be on the show and then still listening to the entire episode. We really nice. appreciate it. Well, Kalen, Kalen was very, very excited. I don't even remember. but uh, We got no Dawson. We got no Chris. It's just us. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that might have been everybody, you now that I think about it. <laughs> Kalen. It was a good episode. Was nice <laughs> it was a really great episode. Well, thanks again. Look, we had a shame. May we say for the Patreon? Oh yeah, sure. You I guess think. So. Or did we? How, how long have we been going? An hour. There was a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go. Wow. Good lord. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we were watching <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja and there was dogs. a timer that was ticking down in the movie and it said like 15 minutes left and Dawson was like, there's 15 minutes left in this movie? And then I made a joke. I'm like, when they cut back, it's going to say like 14 minutes, even though there's been five minutes of screen time. And yeah. sure enough, yep. it was the lo- 15 minutes took about 35 minutes of the movie. Yeah. Yep. Dawson of, was very upset. Um, Jen, my Jen, listened to the, uh, the Girl Next Door one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching Is she it. Uh, still willing to marry you? <laughs> <laughs> I was very surprised, too. She did have questions. Um, but yeah, so she was... So, I mean, look, if people want to subscribe to Watercorn, like, you may not be able to watch the movie or don't want have time to watch the movie, you can just listen to it. We hang. We That's just true. talk over it. So. We did pretty much nonstop talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, just a more incentive to you to check out. Patreon.com slash watercooler. Yep. Very nice and clean. And we're talking about adding some new benefits as well. We don't need to get into specifics yet, but... Yeah, that Molo, getting, that Molo money might get you somewhere. That's right. We'll do some benefits, and then um, I, look, there's a lot of talk about a meetup sometime. We got to figure out a good meetup mm-hmm. to do. People are trying to get together. The Boba Boys want to want to congregate, and yep. I'm all for it. Maybe uh, yeah, do would we be willing to travel? Or should we have them come to us? Oh, Gary, Gary Ghost has a good solution for this. We'll talk about it off air. I like it. All right, so we'll make sure to do that, and uh, let's get our plug in. I was uh, there was a part of me, Gary, that's like. Oh, you want longest episode? I'll give you longest uh, episode, but we'll, we'll just let's just save it for the Dawson Patreon says later. now. <laughs> but yeah, Dawson, you're gonna, have it, dude. you're gonna have all the longest episodes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll get out of here, and we'll be back for Patreon later. So let's get our plugs in and GTFO. And I will start with Kalen. What do you think we should check out? Well, I guess since we're axing flicking the bean as well, too. Oh, wow. dang. Then Jesus, you could watch. Hurts. Oh, Kalen brought us the laptop. Oh, do you, do you want do you want to do it? No, no, no. Now the whole audience will get a chance to watch The Tomorrow War for themselves before I do my review Ooh, on Patreon. Nice. Ooh, that's sweet. good. The Tomorrow War. All right. Everybody watch it. Do your homework. And, it's uh, on Amazon. And Kalen will flick it. Oh, so you should do spoilers then. No, because I want to watch yeah. it. Wait, yeah. like not in the next two yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Don't do and I like spoilers. Like, like sometimes I think, like you know, it'd be nice if there will be spoilers, but mm-hmm. I guess not. Yeah, it'd be great if that was a thing. <laughs> yep. Gary, what about you? Long time I'd ago. like to plug Flick in the Bean. I think it's really great, and I, I don't think it's we should never overlook it. Thank or you, Gary. I'll freaking press the button, man. I'll make it go. You really want it? You really want it? I can make no, it go. No, I can make no, it happen. No, no. It's one no, no. it's one click away. Uh, I'd like to plug uh, the Water Coolers Patreon. We're going to add a few things there coming up, and uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Patreon.com slash Water Cooler, and welcome back, Chris and Dawson. Yes. Yeah. Matt, do you have anything to plug? I sure do. I am uh, part of the relaunch of Sword and Scale Rewind, yeah. which is a uh, after-show <laughs> commentary. SSRewind.com, or you can go to Sword and Scale Rewind. Just type that into any of your podcast apps. Please check it out. The first episode is live. It's me. It's Ian Bag. It's Sword and Scale creator Mike Boudet breaking down an episode about wrong-way drivers, 
which was kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of people die because other people purposely get on the wrong side of the road and then intentionally mm-hmm. try to ram their cars into them. Oh, it's fucking crazy. It's awful. Wow. Yeah. It's awful when you hear Sword and Scale, and then you hear Sword and Scale rewind, and then you laugh about ha, ha, ha. all of the horrible <laughs> things you just heard. Ha, ha, Somehow ha. it works. Oh, death and murder. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. No, but it, it's it true does crime work. comedy. It's true yeah. crime comedy. And and also they got some like Ian put up a really funny cartoon they did. Like they're making cartoons. Yeah, of yeah. That now. We have a, an animator that we're working with that's going to be doing stuff for us every week. Why isn't anybody us. animating us? I don't know. Didn't one of our Patreon listeners promise us a dog cartoon? She's working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sword and Scale Rewind every week. Next week, we're covering uh, another hilarious story of murder. Do you plug the water cooler on it? I do. Oh, I certainly thank you. do. Yeah. Great. All right. Check it out and uh, just even just watch the cartoon. That'll get you hooked. Yeah, there's a clip. I posted awesome. it on Twitter. I'm it's on awesome Twitter. seeing Matt, Matt Fondelier. Yeah, at Matt Fondelier. And uh, yeah, see Matt in cartoon version. That's right. And then go subscribe. Yes. Yeah, then please go subscribe because there's uh, plenty more where that came from. Yep. Doss, where should we go for you? Uh, live music back this Saturday night, at least as far as we are concerned. Uh, Chris's band, Loxy, my band, The Smoking Kills, and another band, The Fallen Stars, all playing oh, yeah. at South Bay Customs. <laughs> this Saturday, music starts at 7 with my band. It's an early night because the drummer that I'm playing with, that we're playing with this time, he's got another show in L.A. at 9 Yes, I remember this. So music starts early. Get out there early. My band will play at 7. Chris's band at 8. Other band at 9. Um, and uh, South Bay Customs ticket at tickets at southbaycustoms.net. It's in El Segundo. Hope to see you there. Yes, please go to that, and then I'll announce some other shows I'm doing <coughs> this month uh, next week. So, But thank you uh, again so much to everybody for listening, for being part of this show, for commenting. It's so good to be back, and we'll see you later this week for Patreon. We love it. Goodbye. All right. <clears throat> yep. Oh, that was fun. Great job. I'm excited to hear more about your food and stuff. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to purposely, I'm more. not going to have a Shea. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys should just do it for. We can cover it. Mm-hmm. Was it a lot of fish? Um, no. Oh. You'd be surprised. Yeah, we, had, we had a lot. No, Chris, <laughs> you, you understand that you just dropped the hundred dollars. <laughs> Adam's gonna find it and keep it. It's in the trash. <laughs> it's in the trash bin, by the way. It's in the trash. Leave that in the video. Leave that in the video. You son of a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>